welcome back to cash out with kiki can you believe it's almost the end of the year and we are wrapping up 2021 i can't believe it guys i'm so grateful that i've made it i know the last few years have been really up and down due to the pandemic and it's ongoing so i am super grateful to be here today and to share with you guys so in today's video i am going to present what i gave you in my last video a sneak peek preview of which is my pounds of potential financial planner for 2022 now before i get into the video i actually realized that there's actually a youtuber with a similar name here so i may actually switch up the title of this planner and just call it my financial planner for 2022 my journey to financial freedom so yes let's get straight into today's video i hope you enjoy what i'm going to present to you today and i will give you further details at the end how you can get your hands on this amazing planner so guys, as I said, I am going to present you my financial planner for 2022. Usually my tradition is at the end of every year, I kind of reshuffle, realign, you know, everything in my life from my finances to my home, everything to really start the new year um, on a fresh footing and really, you know, set the intention of how I want the year to go. And as you already know from my videos, I am on my financial freedom journey where I want to retire before the age of 45. So that is actually within the next decade. So I've really got a lot of hard work and effort to be putting in in order to achieve that. And I have created a financial plan for 2022 that will be available for you guys. And I want you to actually just go through it and, you know, show you what I've created and you know get some feedback and see how i'm able to put all my goals in plan and get things done for 2022 so let's take a sneak peek and reveal what i have here for you so my financial planner is going to be a custom planner and um, therefore when um people put their orders in it will be customized according to you so it will have your personal details and so forth and also most of the planner is actually blank templates because i want you guys to fill in you know your details according to your own circumstances so our first cover page would be my introduction where i give you a little bit of background of you know how i've come to start my financial journey and a little bit of inspiration and um, support for you guys who want to start your financial journey in 2022 and that's signed off by me at the end pretty simple guys there's a lovely introduction message for you guys the next page will be our contents page which actually details all that's inside of the work planner now this is a yearly work planner so you're going to be getting a lot of information a lot of worksheets activities um but we'll go through and we'll talk um about what's going to be coming up in the work planner before i even get into that any further let me just say that this will be available in the uk pound the us dollar and euros now i'm more than happy to customize this to other um, currencies such as the yen or the rai and whatever wherever you come from just let me know and i will get you sorted so back to the planner so this planner the next page will be the contents page and it gives you a breakdown of what is actually included in your planner so you know we have a current cash flow status we have an income analysis section we have a goal setting section we have a few activities here we have our manifestation checks that I've included, a few aspirational affirmations. We've got money motivational prints and so forth. Budget tracking sheets, saving challenges. There is almost over a hundred pages of information in this planner. So this is where the customization comes in. Now I've got a friend who's actually said she's really, really bad at budgeting and wants to do so much more and improve in when it comes to finances she's just had a new baby so she wants to really set the foundations for herself and her family moving forward so here you'll see it doesn't say much it's just pretty much a name but the, the rest is basically blank so the first page will be here will be 
the current cash flow where it will ask you a few specified questions such as do you currently have any savings am i a spender or a saver um do you know anything about investing um do you pl plan on leaving any money when you pass away i.e in a will and basically it just gives you a few questions just to prompt you and to think about um your financial status um where it's at and where you would like to be and these will be also followed by um another blank sheet where you can actually jot down your notes i haven't included it here but you will see it throughout the the planner so that will be your current cash flow um status page the next part in analyzing the status of your finances will be doing a SWOT and income analysis. So your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats when it comes to finances, you'll be able to make some notes. And again, an additional notes sheet will be added to the planner so you can, you know, take note of what those are. So included would be a SWOT analysis sheet as well as an income analysis sheet where you can jot down you know what your current expenses your income is you know what you're spending your money on and so forth so that will be included the next section of our planner will be the goal setting section so the goal getter <laughs> and this is where we will be giving some um, information and guidance in terms of what goals are how to set them and how you can save smartly whilst you know setting your goals so this is just a little bit of information about goal setting and then you will also kind of um get an activity also with that and we break down you know the smart method um the smart framework method which is used not only in finances but throughout many sectors of life business and so forth where you'll be able to talk about specific goals measurable goals how you'll be able to achieve these goals are these goals realistic and you know are they time bound or time based so that you can achieve them now for those who may be new to budgeting um if you haven't seen my video already about the 50 30 20 budgeting method this is a simple smart strategy um way of starting your savings journey and i've broken down how you can get your percentages and divide them into three categories of priority needs lifestyle needs and savings and or debts and this is included for beginners it it could be useful to anybody you could use this throughout your savings challenge but i thought i'd include this in the goal the uh, goal setting section initially because if you are new to budgeting this will be a nice start and simple way to get started with your journey next we have our money mindset activity and like i said throughout this planner i've done activities affirmations manifestation checks as well as savings challenges enough to keep you guys going um a lot of different things so that you're not bored with your savings throughout the year and this is an activity where you can set some goals and change some of the mindset that you have around money so for instance you could say i will be more frugal with saving i will do more you know banking when it comes to your money rather than you know saving it at home that a lot of people do with the cash envelopes instead of keeping it at home and maybe being tempting you will cash stuff and bank and then you know you can put and create many different accounts you know i've put here i will start i know my friend like she said she's really terrible with her finances and she wants to start an emergency fund this is just a little bit of inspiration for you guys to really think about what goals you would like to achieve throughout the year whilst you're starting your financial freedom journey Next, we move on to another fun activity that I've created, which is a millionaire, mil millionaire, a millionaire mindset. Um, if you had a million pound, what would you do? But the challenge here is, guys, I know we'd all be tempted to say, oh, I buy a house, I pay off my mortgage, I buy a car, I treat family. I personally have... Um, I personally have understood that the rich and the wealthy get rich because they are doing a lot of investment. So m one of my main goals for the year coming is to get into investing, understanding investing and basically creating a passive income, which actually 
you know, tends to have much more return on investment rather than saving in smaller um, doses or with, you know, smaller interest accounts. Now, any saving, let me just say, is great, but investment is where it's at. So this activity is, if I had a million pound, what would I do with it? And the, the tagline is, don't spend your money, invest it. You have this space to jot down, you know, your ideas of, what you do, how you'd invest, and where you think you'll see return on your money. Next, we have added our manifesting money checks. Now, um, I'm very big on law of attraction. Um, I tend to always try to be as positive as possible, and I really want to put into action things that I want to attract to me. And manifestation is a very big thing in my life, and I think it's a great way to you know, just keep you going along along your journey, whether that's financial or personal. So I've created some manifestation blank checks, money checks, where you could complete this with your details and put in the total sum of what you'd like to manifest throughout the year of 2022. Now you have um, a chance to print this out. I would recommend doing this on card, but paper's fine. Um, maybe cut one out, put it on your vision board, cut a second one out, pop it in your wallet so you know that's where you're going to attract money to you um and maybe cut one out and pop it on the fridge now you'll be given six money checks blank money checks for you to actually use throughout the year or possibly use you know three for this coming year and the next three possibly for 2023 you know so this is our manifestating manifestation and uh, manifesting money money checks um, and lastly, in this section, we have the money mission. Now, this has been completed by myself and my friend Elaine. Um, however, this will be um, blank for you guys where you can put in your own money mission for the year of 2022. Um, in our discussions, we talked about things that she wanted to do, which was stuff like increasing her credit score, um, starting up new saving goals, starting and maxing out her emergency fund, um, tracking her spending habits because she was really bad at that um, before becoming a mummy, um, improving her financial literacy, um, treating herself also every three months. She wanted to give a realistic way of um, where she can apply her savings but also didn't want to feel like she was only saving and not enjoying her life so she said that she would give herself three months of saving and every three months she would treat herself for doing well so this would be um, the money mission and the last section of your goal setting of the financial planner on to our next part of the planner we have um, our top 10 um financial reads like i said one of my goals was becoming more financially um literate and i think that's imperative to anybody that's doing anything you know or starting anything new it's good to know and learn about what you're actually going into understanding the language understanding how money works you know so i have created um top 10 financial reads which will be really good um for you guys to take a look at you could actually you know, take one book a month and read that book as you're planning and saving and budgeting. And it may actually help you during the process of saving. So there is a few books here that you may have already heard of, you know, like Rich Dad, Poor Dad. But I also wanted to give some other different titles, including titles that were specific to women um, and finances, you know, because, you know, finances or many industries actually are really male dominated however there are women that are within industries and there are women that are financially wanted to improve and are very successful so there is a top 10 titles of the financial reads that i think you guys would be really interested and in, may help you along your savings and financial journey aside from the financial um, literacy i wanted to actually give you um a financial fact sheet so here we have some top 10 financial facts about money and how it works and it's really eye-opening guys a few of these facts were very shocking to me such as 2.5 billion adults do not have a bank account like i never would have thought that i thought that you know everybody would have a bank account especially more in more developed societies and western countries i know that some developing countries are you know a bit more harder to have but 2.5 billion that is a lot of people 
who don't have a bank account that therefore that means they're not saving any money they have no financial security um and another one was 92 percent of the global currency is digital and as we've seen cryptocurrency has been around for a long time but is really taking a boom right now and you know things like bitcoin and stuff has really been booming and that is something that i'm interested in doing again as part of in my investment um goal for 2022 and off the back of that knowing that 2.5 billion people do not have bank accounts i wanted to just give a a idea and a prompt for those who don't have bank accounts to check out the bank accounts that they should have during 2022 such as a current account an account for emergency funds a personal savings account account for your children's savings you know retirement funds um future funds investment accounts and if you're like me who has a business multiple businesses then business account so this will be you know the must-have top 10 accounts that you should have you know or try to start up and achieve throughout 2020 and again, like I said, throughout the planner, you will find blank pages where you can drop down your notes with each activity, planner, budgeting or tracking sheets. You'll have them jotted throughout the planner. And then, guys, we get into the main crux of the financial planner. So each month you will have um, 12 monthly calendars. These are blank and undated, so you can start whenever you you know you decide throughout the year it may not necessarily be straight away and that's why i haven't put any dates i allow that freedom for you to have but um each month you'll be starting off with a monthly quote so it inspires you to you know get saving this one says the most important investment i have made is in myself and that's by you know a major financial a mogul which is warren buffett if you haven't heard of him and then i've also allowed a space for you to write an affirmation if you please to do so i don't know if i said that right but if you do so <laughs> you can do that you know your own inspiration to keep you going for the month so each month you will be having a quote and to get you going and then you get into the budgeting and planning for each month. So the first section you have is a pre-monthly check-in. And it will talk about, you know, give you prompts and questions about what are your personal goals or your financial goals for this month? You know, how are you going to achieve them? Um, if there is an amount, how much it is and what is it in for? What are you going to be using this, this cash for that you're saving? Um, and again, you can take, you can fill this in. And once you get to the end of the month, you can review how well you've done. And then for each month, like I said, you will get a pre-monthly check-in just to keep you and give you a bit of guidance throughout the month. So that will be our pre-monthly check-in where it has some questions that will prompt you. Um, this is our monthly calendar, as I said, where it's a blank canvas for you to put in the month and the date. And you have a, a box here for any notes for any tasks or to do things that you need to do. In addition to the pre-monthly check-in, you'll have a few other sheets that kind of extend onto that where you can read and write through, you know, your monthly goals, your key priorities, you know, the habits that you're going to track for the month and so forth. So it's just giving you a bit of variety then, the same form of template. Um, then we have our budgeting sheet. Um, again, all blanks, so you can complete it according to your circumstances, but you have a space for your income and the amount, your expenses breakdown, um, how much you total budget and the actual budget and the difference between what you actually wanted to budget and what you actually did actually complete to do. So it gives you a clear look of, you know, what you what you actually intended to do and what actually happened and that will actually help you budget you know along the journey with each month you will maybe learn something new so you will you know budget differently or you'll increase some something or decrease something somewhere in your expenses but yes this is our budgeting sheet and then finally we have the end of month review so once you've completed the month and you've done all your savings you've done all your challenges you've completed your activity we have an end of month review and this again will have some prompt questions where you will say um where you will answer questions such as did i meet my personal goal for this month 
why and why not did i achieve my financial goal for this month why or why not did i meet my budget this month you know i know for me last month november i blew the budget like crazy i went over at least by double however i feel like those expenses were necessary and i had done very well to um keeping my budget you know prior to that and then this month you know i've stuck to my budget so you know one month out of 12 in the year it's not so harmful so you have the end of month review now this section that i've actually just shown you um you will get this 12 times so one for each month um but i've also included a weekly planner if you don't um necessarily want to work for the month and it's easier for you to break down your week i have created a weekly planner where you can use the space to make note of important um tasks and things to do throughout the week um and how you're going to budget and then a little note section for you so that's one design and then i've added in a blank a blank chart where you have the days of the week so you take the month the week number a little square for notes and then you have the days of the week monday through sunday so that will be the weekly planner now although we haven't got to the end of the year already um i have put the end of year savings review so all the budgeting planners the trackers the savings challenges they will be bundled at the front um in one section but you can take them out as you go along throughout the year and put them in the necessary places as you're going along your savings journey um so you will find this um ahead of the year rather than at the end of the um planner because i want you to kind of understand and have a look how i've sectioned each of the um the areas basically so basically this is a end of year savings review 12 month timeline so for each month we have an area where you can add in how much you would have saved um and i once you've done that it'll be really good not to get tempted to tally up what you've saved because then you would already sport the fun and knowing how much you would have saved or what you could do is if you have a partner or a child or you know a friend what you can do is make note of how much you spend or make them tally up how much you spent they can jot it down and then you just hide it away at the in at the back of the planner so you don't you're not tempted to look you don't know how much and you can be much more surprised and happy when you do see your final savings so that will be the end of year saving review like i said throughout the planner you're going to be receiving multiple budget in budgeting sheets expenses trackers income analysis monthly expenses so this is just a look at how the layout is again it's all blank for you to fill in and complete according to your needs we're almost coming up to the end guys let me just quickly have a look yes um I did mention that each month you're going to get some inspirational quotes. So let me bring that forward actually before I get into the next seat. So each month you'll get some quotes as well as some affirmations within the planner just to keep you going, keeping you expired. We have, I am in the right place to invest and that's by Aliko Dangote. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm saying that right. We have, nothing is impossible by Jack Ma. And then chase the vision, not the money, guys. Chase the vision, not the money. So that will be included, like I said, as part of the prints that you will have in quotations and say so forth. Um, I'll pop this here and rearrange that because, um, like I said, throughout the financial planner, you will be getting several savings challenges. Now, I've included a few here um, just for you to see. But um, you'll have a savings tracker sheet and then you'll have multiple savings challenges that is up to you how you want to use them, when you want to use them, but you do have them available. So this will be our savings tracker sheet that you have. So you have a savings challenge, your start date, your end date and your total amount that you would have had. Um, 
I will put that there. I have it in a separate folder, but I want to give you some images. So we have saving challenges for everybody. We have them for single people, for couples, for families, for children, anybody. It's all use. It's all user friendly, basically. And um, I just wanted to show you some of the designs I've done. Um, you know, for children, I've included one like cash cars where. For every time they spot one of these color of the cars, they can save pounds. So the bank of mum and dad could help them um, save some cash for the end of the year for them or the month. And, you know, you can use that money and treat them for when it's a birthday or, you know, when they like to go out. You know, they can never resist wanting something when you go shopping with them. So that would be for them exclusively. We have our rainy days. So for each rainy day that you have, maybe throughout the month, you know you can give them a chore a house chore and they can have a little bit of savings you know where they can add to and in the end you tally up how much was saved um and as i mentioned before my friend hasn't started but would like to start an emergency fund and you know here we have details for each month how much she would have saved or anybody will save for their emergency fund and you will have a host of different saving challenges like i said you can use switch change so it's not always the same challenge you know we have envelope challenges you know we have um jar challenges if you can see in the back i'm doing a jar challenge and yeah we also have included create your own blank challenges so for the challenges that you have already i've included a few stencils and templates where you can create your own challenge and lastly, after a year worth of saving, you will be celebrated and honoured with a certificate of completion for your savings for 2022. Now, I have a couple of designs I wanted to show you too. Um, name has been changed for data purposes, but her first name is Elaine. Um, and if you're doing a challenge, savings challenge as a family, you'll be presented with a certificate of completions this one again i would recommend doing on card just so it's a bit thicker and you could possibly pop it in a you know a, a picture frame and put it up on the mantelpiece and give yourself a pat on the back for all your hard work throughout the year and yeah guys that is pretty much it i haven't displayed everything for you today but i've given you a the gist of what this financial planner is going to look like for 2022 i'm super excited so guys i want to spread some of the christmas cheer as it's the end of the year and make this available to you you can now get this and it's going to be available to you at the bonus price of five pounds guys all the details will be down in the description box guys where you'll be able to get your very own customized financial planner for 2022 guys thank you again for watching guys and i wish you a lovely christmas and a beautiful new year i cannot wait to see what's going to happen for 2022 but in the meantime guys take care bye